Welcome back to Flow Fanatic. Today's day number 17 of 25. We're in a 25 day journey solving 25 different Salesforce challenges with flows. Quick reminder to sign up for our daily challenges and subscribe to our YouTube channel in the links below. Let's go ahead and dive into today's challenge. So today we're joined by the awesome Bradley Rice, founder of Talent Stacker, which is an incredible organization helping people shift from other careers into the Salesforce space. So we're so excited to have Bradley here with us, and I'm going to turn it over to him to present today's challenge. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So in today's flow challenge, we're going to be looking at how to reassign records automatically. I work with a lot of companies that have turnover in their sales department and their lead generation department and their customer support departments. And every time someone leaves the company, we have to take all of the records that they own and we have to reassign those to someone else. Sometimes that means we are going through and running a report and exporting that to Excel and then using data loader to mass update the ownership. Sometimes we have to go into the setup menu and mass transfer records from there. Uh, sometimes we can do this through a list view, especially if there's you know not too many records. And then of course, if there's just a handful, you can go one by one and reassign them. But either way, it's a total pain. Every time somebody leaves, we have to go through all of their records, figure out what they own and figure out who to assign it to. So this is going to come up in just about every company that's using Salesforce. And the more employees they have, the higher chance that someone's going to leave and they're gonna have to do this over and over again. So I would love it if we could have a flow. And let's just start with the lead object. So this would be pretty normal with accounts, opportunities, contacts, cases, custom objects as well. But let's start with the lead object. And let's imagine that we have reps who are working leads and they're trying to get those converted and they have leads that they're working in their name. But when they leave the company, we need to automatically assign those leads to a, a queue. So we're gonna take every lead that is in that rep's name and put it into a queue. It doesn't really matter what we call this queue, let's call it the lead reassignment queue so that we know that that's our queue where we need to go reassign those leads to someone else. But for now, what we're gonna do is as soon as that user is deactivated in the system, let's do something so that we can take the records from that person, all of the lead records, and put those into a lead reassignment queue. And that will be a huge help for the company. And then of course, we would love to do that for other objects. But again, let's start with the lead object and see if we can get it done. Thanks, Bradley. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly dive into Salesforce and see how this functionality should work. Great, so we're in Salesforce now, we're on our leads tab. We can see we have 23 open leads. All of them are owned by Alex Frank over here. And Alex, unfortunately, is leaving the group today. And so when we deactivate him, as Bradley had mentioned, we want to make sure that those leads automatically get pushed to the lead assignment queue. So I'm ready to deactivate Alex. I'm going to pull up his user record. I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate him. I'll click save. Then I'm going to come back to my list view. I'm going to hit refresh. Now you'll notice that the leads haven't been moved to the lead assignment queue. And the reason being is this process is going to take one to two minutes to run. So we're going to pause right now and we're going to come back in one to two minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and refresh this view. And we can see now that all the leads have been pushed into the lead assignment queue automatically for us. So that's today's challenge. Good luck. Let us know if you have any questions.